Hello. What day is it today, Alex? A day like any other. No. What day is it today? It's the 1st of December. It's the first day of Vlogmas. And it's moving day. Yay! Let's plop you here. We're gonna open our advent calendar. We got these, ah, am I Santa or something? Ah. Which one's mine, can I pick? You pick. Mm. Do you want the- Well no, can we try, can, can we share the first one and then I decide which I like best and then I have it. Uh, yeah, can we try it and then hopefully, what usually happens is I like the one that Alex doesn't like. So let's share. I just wanna see the ingredients. This one has 44% minimum cocoa solids. That's 45. Right, well let's have half of each and then hopefully we match which one we like best, what we don't match on each. Ah. Usually that does happen, we're quite lucky. Yeah. <clears throat> you mean usually I let you have the one you want and pretend that I like the other one? Well if you do that, that's your own problem. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you have on it? What's the thing? So we've got Holland and Barrett, vegan advent calendar and then the Tesco one? Tesco. There's a new thing called the, the Free From, from Kitchen. kitchen. I, it, that must be a Tesco owned right. brand, surely. It's, I think Tesco um, are trying to make their, you know like how Aldi and Lidl have exclusive brands that are really just own brands. Well, you didn't, what was the thing? Mere chocolate mm. Christmas pudding. What's that? Santa. It's not even. Mm, that's delicious chocolate. Which one's which? That's Tesco. Because it's bigger. I prefer the Holden Barrett one, I think. So this, this is Tesco? I think so. Mm. They're very similar though. <coughs> Which one do you like better? I wonder about. Do well, you? They're both very similar. We can take turns. I don't mind. Now I feel a bit more Christmassy. <laughs> so, first day of Vlogmas also coincides with first day of moving. And that's great, but also really um, tricky because if we're delayed on any days, or if we combine two days, just bear with us. We're not going to be like strict about this year because we're moving house. So yeah, if, if we're late, then just yeah, stick stick with us. But we are moving everything into a van today. In a van. And then tomorrow we're driving down to Cornwall. Yeah. Oh boy. So we've got a lot of work to do because <laughs> yeah. I started doing a lot of packing yesterday whilst Alex got the van and stuff. And, and it's a jolly good thing you did. Yeah, we were originally. We were going we to work yesterday. And then... Yeah. We were like, oh, we'll film a video and um, do work for my channel and stuff. And then we were like, what are we doing? We need to pack. <laughs> the main thing we've got to do is put the furniture in the van and then figure out everything yeah. else. So, so what we're doing, the sofa and the bed Yeah, frame? the sofa and the bed. So we've got to Should clear the sofa, clear the path uh, into um, the van because there's loads of stuff in the corridor. Yeah. But anyway, we're probably going to get loads of footage today. So let's not talk too much and let's yep. get on with moving. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Just, um, just taking the spider. I feel so bad. Does anyone else feel bad about situations like this? I feel like the spider has had this home for the last year and now we're ruining his home. Giddy up, root of my dear Eight pair of empty Onwards ever go Desher and Prancer Moving through the snow 
food ha has arrived. I think we're gonna have a little picnic. Sit down on our comfy sofa. So what the pitta? So this is, I think it, they used to only have it in Shoreditch at Box Park, but they've recently opened one in um, Brighton. And it's like vegan doner kebabs and also chips. Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is very greasy. <laughs> Let's put this down. We've got a plate. No, we've packed all the plates. No, there's one out. Okay, go get the plate. Just, just wash it. So we wanted two vegan donna kebabs and a San Pellegrino. I think this is some chili or ketchup. I'm not sure what this one was. Is this some kind of vegan mayo? Yeah. Mm mm mm. Delicious. Let's show you the kebab. If you haven't been to What the Pitta in London or Brighton, do they have one in Croydon as well? I think they do, don't they? Pretty sure they do. You have to try it, it's very delicious. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna turn the camera off now because we're running out of space. <laughs> On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. Be done on my Christmas run It's the most tired chore No girl or boy without a toy So giddy up, root of my dear Maddie turned to me and asked why three of the screws were really hard to undo. We're about three quarters of the way undoing this desk. And then I was watching her and she was trying to turn it clockwise to tighten it. I don't understand. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I made this desk. See you. Shut up. So if you made the desk, how do you not know how to screw the screws in? <laughs> okay, a little bit of an update. I am exhausted. <sighs> you always underestimate how hard moving is. So it's half past one. So we have to go to a party, my auntie and uncle's party at 8 p.m. So we'll need to have dinner and then go to the party and get ready and stuff. So we'll have to stop at like six. So we have four and a half hours left to pack everything and clean everything, which is just not gonna happen. So we underestimated vastly. So we thought we would get everything done today, um, seeing as we packed a lot yesterday and then we would be able to leave early tomorrow, but just ain't gonna happen, is it? The thing is though, when we get home, we have to unpack the van because Alex has to go the next day to return the van early in the morning. So I'm feeling the stress levels of moving right now. I don't wanna burden you with that because it's vlogmas and it's supposed to be fun, but safe to say I'm feeling a bit stressed. <laughs> right, so it's quite a few hours later. It's getting dark outside now. We've decided to get rid of our bed. We're gonna keep the drawers and repurchase the Ikea bed that the drawers go into because we got that bed secondhand for 30 pounds and it was really, really torn apart and rickety when we got it. And then when you take apart flat pack furniture and put it back together again, every time you do that, it gets um, more rickety and old. And I had scratches all over it. It was scratching, it actually made a scratch on our desk, which isn't great. Um, and it was just sliding all over the place in the van. So. I convinced Alex that we should dump it because in my new house, I'm gonna to wanna to get the right bed frame for us. Um, I'll try and get it secondhand and try and find something right. But yeah, it just, it's time to say goodbye and it's served us well this last year for 30 quid. Yeah, it saved us some space. And now we're gonna start filling Alex's car with um, some of the food and the clothing from our bedroom. So it's getting dark now. So I thought I'd show you the progress we've made. So this is the bedroom. We've taken the bed frame down, which as I said, we decided to get rid of it. These are our like clothes were that we didn't want to pack away because we'll probably use them over the next few weeks. So we're gonna like pack them separate to our other clothes. We have the bike. The bathroom's kind of like, it doesn't look any different because we need to use our toiletries, but I packaged my toiletries up but there's still lots of stuff in here and can't really do anything about that till tomorrow. And then Alex is working in here to package up his, stuff. I don't know what. <laughs> Xbox and assorted electronics. And it's a crazy mess in here. When it comes to moving though, I always find it gets worse and then it gets good because most of this is literally just boxes. There's empty boxes there that we got from Aldi to use to transport everything. And that stuff up there is like 
all of our uh, laptops and camera equipment, all of which we will probably need, so we're not packing them away. The bike, and then the kitchen, which again is just, there's just lots of bits. And I always find that happens when you pack because you put everything away neatly and then all the extra bits that aren't, you're not really sure about end up staying out. And there's like, I don't know, there was a bit of washing and we used a bit for cooking and we've left all of the, all the cupboards are empty now. Um, but we've left this cupboard full with the cleaning stuff because we're going to be cleaning loads tomorrow and I wanted to have all of the equipment available. But yeah, let me show you the, what the van and the car looks like because it's getting dark outside. You can now kind of see our corridor because we're moving out, so I don't need to worry about you um, following me. So this is the car, looking very full. That's mostly clothes and food. And then this is the van. So we've got our sofa, got our plants. We've got bits of our bed, we've got all of our books and kitchen stuff and yeah, some pl some cactus and that is how it's going so far. Look, you can see outside because we're moving, I don't have to worry about safety. <laughs> so it's the, the home stretch now, all the furniture's in apart from this chair um, and our bed and the mattress we're thinking will just go on top of everything, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. What are you doing? But what about the mattress? Will the because we need to put the television in. Where will the mattress go with the television? You ask a lot of questions. Because you said you can't put anything on top of the TV. No. So what are we going to do about the mattress? I think we'll just have to buy a new one. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna get on and see how we go and we'll catch up. Hopefully later on this evening when the, the house is pretty much empty. Mm, that'd be nice. <gasps> oh. oh, wow. My goodness me. So it's about 6 p.m. We have emptied out most of the rooms. So this is what the room's looking like right now. That's our television and a chair, and then that's just boxes. And all the other rooms are similar. What a day it's been, eh? It's been a hectic day. Hope um, yeah. it was fun enough for our first day of Vlogmas. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna dig into this. This is pizza face, by the way. We're gonna miss this. Pizza face is so this good. This is maybe better than Parezza, in my opinion. No, I prefer Parezza. But and they're the both very so, good. So good, yeah. They're both very, very good. So we're gonna dig in, and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for day two. And Peace when out. we're gonna be saying goodbye to this flat. Ah! Yeah.